no use to people. And they just see also seem to bring out the best in people. Oh, they're well, they're mischievous by nature. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. And uh, and look at that. Yeah, mischievous by well, nature. They'll eat anything, even stuff that's bad for them. So we have to be careful. As long as there's food source around, they don't really go for that stuff. They're they're very intelligent, really. Uh, you know, my fingers. That's where all the magical treats come from. Ah. Do we have any treats? Oh yeah, they're in the car. We'll, we'll go get some. We'll go get some. I think we should. I think we should. This floppy looks like she wants some. Oh, hi, sweetie. Hi. Mischievous by nature. What's this one's name? This is Floppy. Floppy? She's super sweet. All of our animals are super hand friendly because we've had them working in, in uh, you know, urban settings for the last three years. Actually, I haven't been here for four days. Um, you know, we will make sure that we won't leave the job until it's finished. So if it takes six days or seven days, we'll just have to keep them here. They love peanuts in the shell, unsalted. Right, right, okay. And, uh, so how many have you delivered? How many babies have you delivered? Well, personally, I had I delivered twins, and one day I showed up, and I, uh, Nutmeg had given birth before I got there um, to Lucky last summer, so. So you delivered twins, and then another one? Uh, yeah, well, we have three, yeah, we have three little babies, and it's pretty great. Interesting. Right? What's that one's name? This one right here, this is uh, Dorian, one Dor of the twins that was born. Dorian is uh, a little over a year now. She was born last April. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi. They eat a lot. They convert all this foliage into these tiny little pellets. It's such an efficient system, you know, designed by nature over thousands of years. It's a perfect clearing machine. And, and civilization, kind of as we know it, could never have happened without these animals, you know, clearing land. A severe hillside situation we were covered with blackberries and they wanted it terraced and they wanted us to install some retaining walls and stairs and you couldn't remove the material well there was no access for any truck so I asked them if they might be open to trying goats because I always wanted to try that and I like animals and um, so they were and we hired somebody and anyway he ended up having a lot of troubles with his truck and I helped him a bunch so he asked me if I wouldn't if I'd could handle trying to go take care of he would do the east side of Lake Washington and I would take care of the Seattle side and eventually you bought them yeah I bought some I eventually bought you bought them how many did you originally buy uh, well I bought eight eight okay and how many do you have now well now we have 11 because a couple of them had babies uh, all goats typically have horns some of them have been removed uh, in cities and in in cities it's typically uh, by law that they have to have their horns removed called debutting. Mm -hmm. um, in uh, dairy farms for dairy goats, goats that give milk, they're often the horns are removed because when they fight or play it's possible to tear the milk bag with horns. So a lot of the dairies will remove the horns. I like to keep the horns because it's natural and because it's the, really their only defense. Um, you know, we have them in settings where there could be dog attacks, there could be predators like coyotes, and, you know, I think the horns give them some defense. And I like the way they look, I think it's cool. 
how long does it take for uh, this herd of 11 to clear a property like this? Well, it'll be just a couple of days. If it hadn't rained, it, they, they don't like to work in the rain. They don't like to work in the cold. But if it's sunny, they'll, I mean, they live to eat. And that's the greatest thing is that um, it can teach you a lot about, like there's no Facebook or no Twitter for these guys. Not necessary if there's some shade, some cool water. They love uh, raisins, carrots, and they or they don't do carrots too much. It's funny, but they do love apples. A couple of them love apples more than anything in the world. Some food to eat. They're just content animals. They're just it's the simple things that reminds you really what's important. You know, some good companionship. <laughs> They'll eat everything. They'll eat everything. They'll eat everything. Well, um, I just have to. I, I'm available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And, um, you know, if we get a call, i got to race over and, and uh, take care of it. Um, but you know what's the greatest is people love the animals and, and uh, you know, look out for them and call us right away. So it's happened only a, it's a half a dozen or less times in three years. Less than that. But, you know, it's a, we just run out, got to get them and put them back in with the guys and figure out how they got out. Mm -hmm.